solve the system of equations. We have an x, a y, and a z. We have three variables, so therefore we need three equations. And we do. So we can solve this system, and we're going to be solving it by combination. You want to be able to cancel the x's, the y's, or the z's. In this case, you want to be able to select the one that has um, variables by themselves. Might be easier most of the time to cancel them. In this case, if you notice, we have two x's by themselves, so let's go and cancel the x's. You want to be able to cancel the x's twice. So you need to get two equations. You can get the first one and the second equation, or the first one and the last one, or the second one and the last one. It's up to you. In this case, I can get the first and the second equation, and I can multiply um, by what to cancel the x's? I can multiply by negative 1. So I have a negative x. Multiply gives me a negative 3y. Multiply gives me a negative 2z. And gives me negative 2. The second one stays the same. I'm going to cancel the x's. And that's what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to add them. gives me 2y plus z is equal to 1. Now I want to cancel the x's again. So I can get the first one and the last one or the second one and the last one. It's up to you. You get the same answer. So let's go and select the first one and the last one. And I want to cancel the x's, so therefore I'm going to need to multiply this one by negative 5. So it cancels the x's. That gives me a negative 5x minus 15y minus 10z is equal to negative 10. And the last equation stays the same. So therefore the x is cancelled. We have a negative 13y minus 7z is equal to negative 3. Now remember, if you cancel the x's the first time, you want to cancel the x's again. So you want to cancel the same variable twice. So that now we have two equations that have y's and z's. So we can combine them into 1. So let me rewrite it. We have 2y plus z is equal to 1. And negative 13y minus 7z is equal to negative 3. I want to cancel the y's or the z's now. And probably the z's might be easier. And you want to multiply it by 7 so that z's will cancel out. That gives me a 14y plus 7z is equal to 7. The second equation will stay exactly the same. So the z's cancel, and we have y is equal to 4. Now, usually, if you end up with a whole number, most likely you're doing it correctly. But we can check at the very end. For now, I have the y value. Since I only have one value, I'm going to plug it into an equation that has two variables. So I can plug it into the first. Any of those two equations will be fine. I'm going to plug into this equation because it's slightly smaller numbers. So if I plug in the y, I'm going to find the z. So I'm going to find z. That gives me 2. Instead of the y, will be a 4 plus z is equal to 1. 8 plus z is equal to 1. Move that 8 to the right becomes a negative 8. So we have z is equal to negative 1. I have y and I have z. So now I'm going to take both values and plug into an equation that has three variables so I can solve it. So I can plug into any of those three equations. Let's just plug into the first one. And I'm going to be finding x because that's the last one I need to find. So it'll be x plus 3. Instead of the y, I'm going to plug in the value of y, which is 4 plus 2, instead of the z will be a negative 1, and that is equal to 2. So x plus 12 minus 2 is equal to 2. x plus 10 is equal to 2. I'm going to move my 10 to the right because it's a negative 10. So it gives me x is equal to negative 8. Now one way to double check your answer is to just plug in the x, negative 8, the y, a 4 and the z is the negative 1. And let me just do an So we have your x is negative 8, your y is a 4, and your z is negative 1. And if you just plug into the first one, you can double check to see if it's correct. So we have 
negative 8 plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 2. Your x is negative 8, your y is a 4, and your z is a negative 1. I have a negative 8 plus 12 minus 2 is equal to 2. That is a 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 is equal to 2, and that's correct. Now, to fully double check your answer, you can plug it into all three equations. But as long as you plug it into one, most likely you'll be correct on all three.